Good evening. Uh, I'm Mimi Willard, a founding core group member of the um, uh, Coalition of, S of Sensible Taxpayers, um, which exists to protect marine taxpayer rights and interests. I'm here tonight to encourage you not to endorse today. Please take more time. Um, endor endorsing this proposal uh, gives momentum to something that really needs careful consideration and ample opportunity for substantial constituent education, outreach, and input, including both residents and businesses in San Rafael that are already struggling with uh, the highest sales tax in Marin. Um, also, I would note that providing um, the notice over a big holiday weekend does not allow a full airing of an important issue. Now, I recognize that it is not primarily the fault of the San Rafael uh, City Council that you're under this time pressure. Um, TAM and its lobbyists have set a time schedule that puts time pressure on all of the Marin cities to endorse by early February. Um, and without endorsement from them all, the legislation will not proceed. Um, uh, but Measure A doesn't expire until 2014-15. Uh, this time pressure does not conform with your uh, good intentions that you've stated for good public outreach. Uh, TAM has been considering um, what's happening, uh, what's being proposed to you tonight for over a year. Um, and so there was plenty of time uh, had they moved forward sooner than December 1 of uh, 2016 for you to properly consider whether to support this process, to engage the public, uh, to uh, make sure that there is a robust list of uh, expenditures outlined um, had they acted sooner, had they not waited until December of 2016. Um, so um, this is contrary to San Rafael's interests. Um, there's taxpayer exhaustion. Uh, do you want transpa transportation money for TAM to um, take top priority because the next time that you need money for San Rafael, people will have gone over that's that tax exhaustion threshold. Um, I know that you've received lots of messages from constituents today asking you not to rubber stamp a process that uses taxpayer money um, uh, on, a, on something that's intended to lead to yet more taxes. Can, can um, you wrap it up, please? Uh, yes, I will. Um, many are also concerned that the transportation money doesn't seem to be spent, spent on things that actually reduce traffic. Um, and then uh, finally, I will point out that TAM has not consistently uh, respected restrictions placed on their current sales tax revenues under Measure A. Uh, they did seek to use, and I believe did use, the consent calendar to swap restricted funds uh, with other agency in order to gain access to unrestricted funds. For all of these reasons, I urge you to slow down, invite more public participation, and heed their guidance before you vote. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, next person, please. Hi, Susan Kirsch. I, too, am one of the core founding members of the group called Coalition of Sensible Taxpayers. Um, and, and I want to, you know, thank you for being here for the presentation, Diane. And, and it's just, it's, it, you know, because I've not been sitting in meetings like this lately, it's, it just really is um, interesting to kind of hear the bureaucratic talk about a project which some of us consider is a part of the OPM addiction, other people's money, and what can be done with other people's money. And this would seem to be one of those things where the legislation exists to protect people in the public. And so I would agree with, you know, with everything that Mimi said about the importance of being able to be the agency that, that considers this resolution in looking at your responsibility for protecting the public from information that has not been forthcoming and that there has not been a kind of the, the self-inflicted urgency of this is one of the aspects that is problematic for, the, for those of us in communities who are struggling to keep on top of what the information is that's coming our way. So, um, you know, and the resolution says that this is similar uh, to resolutions that have been passed in Los Angeles or San Mateo or Costa, Con uh, Costa, Con uh, Costa Contra County. 
Um, Marin is such a different kind of county. We're a little county without nearly the building or the tr transportation requirements that those other counties have. So again, I would urge you to do the protection, keep the cap in place as we need the cap, and, and know that there is time then to reconsider it. And we, as a cost organization, will be doing our part to try to educate the public about expenditures and how, how, how they're needed and how the money's being used. Thank you. Thanks, Susan. Next, uh, next person, please. Good evening. Mary, how are you? Good. Mr. Mayor, Councilman. My name is Hutch Turner. Uh, the remark was made earlier that this was not binding, but it is enabling, and that's my concern. I've heard a lot of bureaucratic talk here. I hear a lot of it. I'm a simple person, like most of the people who live in this county. When I get up in the morning and I have to go somewhere, I get in my car and I drive on a road and it's in terrible shape. Terrible shape. I pick up the newspaper, I read about a new interchange. Well, I'm on that interchange very briefly, but I'm on my city streets a lot. And that's very distressing and that's a source of great unrest in this county among all cities. In addition, when I get home, I pick up the newspaper and I read about a new tax for schools because they don't have enough money. So we have a lot of things going on here if you're a small, simple person trying to lead a simple life in this county. All of the bureaucratic back and forth doesn't mean much. Once it leaves this chamber, it's out of the locals' hands because it's taken over by people who are appointed. And it gets further and further away from the person who drives on the street every day. In Novato, we have a bus terminal that is eight times larger than any projected need in the near term, eight times. It was pushed by TAM. Second thing that really annoys a lot of us is we're beginning to feel increasingly estranged from city government. And I'll tell you right now, you have no greater leverage on behalf of your citizens as you do when you make a decision like you make tonight. I suggest respectfully that you hit the pause button and engage the citizens so they'll have a fuller understanding of what's going on. Thank you.